Hello, my name is Jan. I recently graduated from Hong Kong Baptist University, uh, majoring in international journalism, and I currently work at a travel company here in Tokyo, Japan, as a content writer and social media associate. And I am also a Hong Kong-born Filipino and a MedMission alumni six point zero. So I first got in touch with NetMission. Actually, before it was NetMission, it was NetY. So that was for uh, secondary school students. So I joined the competition together with two of my friends, and we wrote an essay about cyberbullying and uh, suicide rates. And then uh, our essay won, so we got to go to the Internet Governance Forum in Bali, and I think that was the start of the IGF journey. As I graduated from uh, secondary school and started university, I joined that mission because it was for university students. And that's how I started. And during Net Mission or even during Net Y, uh, the things that we did is uh, have workshops and also um, capacity building training to talk more about internet issues like privacy, cybersecurity and child protection online and we also learn to how to facilitate discussions um, in different topics. Because of our training we then try to hold um, organize the conferences like Youth at IGF and also like quite recently the APIGA in Korea. Actually, when I lived in the Philippines, I didn't really blend in that well because even though even though I was Filipino, they still treated me as a foreigner because I was not born there or didn't grow up there. So I went back to Hong Kong. And in Hong Kong, I do feel the most at home because there is a community of Filipinos, of my friends, of my family. But at the same time, there's also that uh, other group, the majority group of Hong Kong Chinese where sometimes they don't welcome you or they still think that you're not a Hong Kong because you're of your ethnicity. And then here, um, I think here it's not very complicated because I feel like I am here as a foreigner and I feel like I've accepted that. So being here is not very complicated and I don't know if stay here that long to call like Tokyo or Japan home yet but I feel like um, eventually I will probably be going back to Hong Kong in the near future. So I think the most ethnic minorities in Hong Kong growing up face what we call educational segregation so basically it's where we went to schools that the majority are ethnic minorities, so we didn't have a lot of chance to interact with our you know, local Hong Kong counterparts. So that kind of made us feel isolated. And growing up, that's how I felt like I was living in Hong Kong, but I felt like I was not at the same time because I was just in a community with all you know, brown people, brown minorities. And yeah, we didn't get to enjoy that kind of local feeling, even though we were locals ourselves. And that also hindered us from learning good Cantonese because we didn't have proper Cantonese classes. We were only taught like very basic and that it didn't help us in university or even in, in our career in the future. So I think that that was one of the struggles growing up. And then when I started University. It was the first time I had like uh, local Hong Kong classmates, and I feel like it was kind of like a very surprising experience because there are a lot of things that they don't know about us, and there's a lot of things that I don't know about them, even though we were living in the same community. Okay. 
more than an activist because I'm not like a front, maybe. Like, I'm more of behind the scenes because I try to focus my advocacy in the medium that I'm comfortable in, which is writing or video. Um, so, by that, I try to write papers about the experiences. I think the first step is to raise awareness that problems exist and then acknowledge them and then start to, you know, uh, have solutions. So that's also the reason why I try to make my own documentary, tell the experiences of uh, ethnic minorities, like how they are really living in Hong Kong. I directed a documentary called Own Voices and it was screened in Hong Kong in Ling Lang University. So I wanted to do that documentary because I wanted, as, as someone who wanted to work in media, I noticed that a lot of stories about ethnic minorities are not told by ethnic minorities themselves, but fil filtered through another lens, like what would people want to see or what would gain more viewers. So I felt like there's not a lot of authenticity of our experiences so I directed that documentary and had four ethnic minority uh, teenagers tell their stories um, yeah and I wanted to continue that here in Japan um, and focus on the minorities here because they also have uh, unique experiences of living in Japan so that's something I want to also want to do while I'm here.